what's up guys this is the final episode of life is strange 2 uh if you're watching this on youtube thank you for watching this series with me whether you like my decisions or not uh, this story has been very stressful very annoying and very eye-opening in certain situations i will say that much but thank you guys for the support thank you for watching my videos at all i really do appreciate that uh we're gonna in th this this is like right after the previous part so i'm just going through this because i really want to get this story done because it's honestly pissing me off the more idiotic options that they give me so let's get straight into this thing all my social medias will be linked in the description below also come but if you are watching this video boom oh i keep forgetting it's reverse but uh if you are uh curious i am live on twitch right now as i'm recording this so if you guys come through to some of my live streams i predominantly stream on sundays mondays tuesdays and sometimes wednesdays so yeah those are the days that i I stream, I tend to stream like either like 7.30, 8 to like 2 or 3 in the morning. That's that's when I stream. Depen and it depends on how I feel. But that's besides the point. Uh, let's, let's get, let's get into this. Let's see what crazy decisions they're gonna make me make. The final episode, episode five. What are they gonna do? Y yeah. I'm blocking the sun. <laughs> Whatever. Scorpion. Fun fact, I just watched Scorpion King. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers, always. Yeah, he says that until he makes a dumb decision. So, 
Are you still having those bad dreams? Yeah. You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Without you, she has no power. We're all good. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? We've been criminals, respectfully. Res respectfully, sort of, yeah. Sort of. We did a lot of illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah, I know. If you know okay. Well, Let me show you. we're almost at the border. Me too. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. For me, not, not they were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story, too, right? No, incorrect. Whatever. If I'm done, time to piss these kids off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, Ooh, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's back this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. Time to draw. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Hmm. 
pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the camera. Hmm, I can try. Child. Wait, what? Whatever. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? <sighs> okay. Yeah, Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Ta da. Like Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. But like if I throw I threw him as like badass, he'd be like, damn, I look like a villain or something. Okay, let's clean up. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. But it scares the coyotes away. This power is so cool. I love tie-dye and stuff now. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. How you gonna say that and sit right back down? What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. Let that thing get too close to you. If it stings you, you're done for. The tiniest of scorpions are the most poisonous. I wish we saw my falling stars, oh, or any. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Didn't 
think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. Hey, see this? <sighs> Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Anyway, what I was saying is, it's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Hmm, I think she's in denial. What do you mean? Karen... Hmm, now what the hell is that? Karen... kind of acts like you don't Daniel? have a power. I see something Maybe behind this rock. she doesn't want to believe it. Can you bring it over? <laughs> the audio clipping is crazy. Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Okay. Okay. So, I don't get it. <laughs> I hear you. But Got the munchies. Good thing I'm not scared of heights. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own <laughs> radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> it would be so cool. Hey, need help getting down? Dude, I got this. <clears throat> see? Easy peasy. Until you fall on your ass. Yeah, but I didn't. Oh. Ooh. Look. Look. Oh, Looks man. like a job for our local super cool baby psychic boy. Yeah. And you scared it. I know. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. Go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur.
Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> Back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. <laughs> Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. <laughs> Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Karen letting us invade her space after all these years. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. I miss you too, sis. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <laughs> Must pay better than poetry. <laughs> Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. <laughs> Maybe they were nerds together. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <laughs> Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Still can't believe she's kept it. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I should be Zomboy fighting vampires. 
sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to... David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Not a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about... Not a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. So. <laughs> Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. Two things last chapter. I only missed two things. That's crazy. I didn't get anything on the third chapter.
I should bring the telescope back to Arden Stand before I forget. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Oh. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleep over in the canyon? <laughs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Okay. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her, but you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in the desert. Oh, I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away you will people come here to reset their life become the person they want to be or used to be you're smart you'll figure out your next direction right gramps speak for yourself grandpa my body might be 59 but i'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh i'll remember that on the next hike i'm gonna see what daniel's up to thanks for the desert brew These two remind me of Claire and Steven. You know. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it. But the closer you get, it changes. I don't know. It kind of helps me focus, get a better grip. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <sighs> I don't know. It's just doodles and shit. No big deal. Yeah. I thought my sculptures were shit, too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. 
I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trip, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but... Go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. Totally. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out! Feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a, a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts.
This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. <laughs> super Wolf, to the silver runner. David always wants to help. But he's cool tough to figure. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? <laughs> Ten four. Okay. You're on a nano. Yes. Great, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's that's it. That's your clue? We helped Joanne Without set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Hmm. You're in the middle zone, getting warm. Not too far. Just grab it. You're here. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh hoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thick. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Getting closer. Oh, chill. 
You're lost, Sean. Warming up. Getting closer. Warm. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Guess people came here with these and never left. Oh man, you're right there. there Just look around. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found a hidden treasure. <laughs> Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Still have 17 bucks. Are you kidding me? Whoa. I think you're love the energy out here back. with everyone building stuff as no, they please. 100% hurt. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. I could get used to that scenery. Hey. Hey. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> 
The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? I've already been recording for an hour. <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Well, that's dangerous. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier, but you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring, but what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> uh, I'm divorced. Uh, wait. Wait. Yo, wait. Is this the guy from, uh. Is this the guy from, uh. uh Life is Strange 1? I think this is Chloe's stepdad. Yeah, this is probably. This is probably Chloe's stepdad. Cause that's what she always used to call the guy, a step douche. She always used to call him that. Like one thing I do remember is Chloe being annoying. Now. But I never had the chance <laughs> to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <laughs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. 
y'all think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hope my crops will make it. Hmm. Looks like they all finally found their home. Is that a new statue? <laughs> that woman is amazing. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <laughs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. I guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after this all this. The fun of and the car's just Three half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. 
can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Exactly. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. What? What do you even look like? Oh, okay. It's so big. Okay. And Tim. pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. That movie sucks. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Hey, Daniel just pissed me off. So. Uh oh! I hear a wolf. I better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I'm proud of who you are and where you're going. Karen, be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well. Figures. This couldn't last forever. Uh, so. This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Cool. 
let's light up the sky. this because no matter what I do <laughs> the streams always get copyrighted somehow when I record these episodes it always gets copyrighted for some reason and it pisses me off every time so I'm, I'm sorry Trying to, I'm not trying to get my channel clapped up yet. I haven't even gotten to a hundred subs yet. the moment's over. Hopefully they'll start talking. Okay, cool. Loading screen. We'll be back into the town. But hey, we gotta borrow somebody's car because we are not walking to Mexico. Are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. Says the kid that can levitate a boulder. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a uh, five or six hours drive. Oh yeah, so like twenty. It won't be miles. easy crossing that border, so I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada, so they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom. That's not how that. We'll works. go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I, mean, she's gonna get I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. We're already not. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Um, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Karen. Hold on, wait a second. You gave me a hundred and something. A hundred and forty seven. This is the last time we ever gonna see her. Might as well call her mom one last time. Hey mom. I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. <sighs> Maybe we're not that different. Okay. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us and don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it, one day, once the dust has settled. Take care, and talk soon. Sean. as is. Leave as is. Let's get this stuff done. We thank her, we apologize, and yeah. Before we talk to David, let's say goodbye to whoever is. Should go see. he making this money? I just went from 17 bucks to 147. How? David wants now. <laughs> Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. <laughs> There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. It's just empty houses and rocks over there. Dead.
Hey guys. Swing by our place before you leave, will ya? Where do you think I'm going right now? <sighs> Maybe I'll see some of your cousins in Mexico. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? <laughs> no way. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. Sounds like it. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. my head around those two leaving. That's just unfair. Daniel's so bummed we're gonna miss Arthur and Stanley's fireworks. Always here. It wasn't forever, honey. They have their own way to go. Not this time. This part of town is dead this time of year. There's a literal car right there. I should stay around here. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? <sighs> she was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Still can't believe she's kept it. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico.
kid. I'm gonna miss her weird transcendental music. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You just have. Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I miss you so much, Joanna. I know, sweetie. I miss you too. I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things with you. Me too. It's the first time I use my power to actually build something. I usually just use it because. I wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Maybe. Yeah, that's cool. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. Stanley's such a tech nerd. I shouldn't wander away. We gotta leave soon. I hope the UFOs are listening. John. Hey, Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. I freaking knew it. RFP Chloe, even though she was annoying as hell. Yeah, 
Me and David won't be sharing any playlist. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Okay, how does this thing work? One forty to one sixty. Uh, okay. Only got to search between 140 and 160. Yeah, nothing there. Climate hoax. Go on, sir. Uh, all I would say is, uh, now you have these... Wait, is this it? Sam's? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You, you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... 
honest. I know, Dave. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. And I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her. That's... That's why at the beginning of the game, before I even started the game, it asked me if I chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay or not. And I chose, I did to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, which means that Chloe had to die by the rich kid. Okay, okay, okay. Hated okay. each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe. Instead of being a bully, all of my fuck ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean. I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner. I mean, I've tried that, or rather I've wanted to do that since episode one, but these guys just wanna keep running. And later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. But you're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. Oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. It's Joyce. Right on time. Done setting up those solar panels. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. You got that right. Now, how about you? Oh, uh, any news from the vet? Touch with, with Joyce, it's 
Kind of strange. Good. Ask you what it is. All right, sir. Well, if I can speak out to a boy. You done good, sir. Be glad to help you find him. After the desert roads. You deserve a nice. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. So, do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, <laughs> you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out. Like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Ooh, Karen, you are so busted. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Wow. 
water management is kind of a big thing around here. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean. This is it. Why, why is this an option? Why is this an option? Hug, don't hug, why does this matter? Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Let's hit the road. Anytime, anytime it plays any kind of music, I gotta mute it <laughs> because it just it 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 doesn't work out. Something wrong? Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Robos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? 
I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't? Teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go, and we'll get to hang out too. Um. Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel, I get scared too, you know. But we'll be. We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Dip on your tip, man. Don't be doing that. <laughs> if you crash, we gotta walk 30 miles. It's so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. border man is there a wall like this up north nah not really there, there so is, but it's not as dramatic why did they build one here i don't know daniel that sucks Will really just leave stuff for the immigrants? Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trashed? Or I hope I can pay this forward.
This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. This shit last until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Wasting time. We need to cross that wall. I never thought I'd see this thing up close. That water must be a hundred degrees. But it's way better than nothing. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it.
right, Tubro? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. It'll be so... Daniel, what the... Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! This is the second time Daniel's been shot. Daniel! He's kicked talk to me! Huh? Oh. 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 No. No way. Not now. Daniel! <sighs> hey! Who are you? You shoot my brother! Hey, oh! Oh! This man can't fight for shit. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Huh? Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. <laughs> we serve our country. By shooting people! Better them than us. Yeah. Look, you just um. blew up that wall, so don't start acting all friendly. Bro! What the fuck? I can't, I can't scream because it's the middle, it's literally the middle of the night, so I don't want to yell and get mad and all that. But it sucks that there's really people like this in the real world. There's people like this in the real world today, still. People that will be posted up miles away from the border. Just trying to cause havoc. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No. Stop bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! Yeah, don't move! Uh. What? What the fuck? Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? 
Yeah. Was there, only you literally assaulted two people, two kids. You shot at two children, minding their own business. But yeah, you're in trouble. Why are you surprised? Yo. <sighs> Fuck sake! What I say? Okay. As long as he doesn't recognize Take a us. breath. You okay now? He doesn't recognize us. Daniel! What? I I'm sorry, are you Sean? Stinks. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Come on. He just had to cry out for Daniel. He could have lied. He said, hey, my name's Jack. And that's my brother, Timmy. He could have said anything. Anything else. Don't look at me. Are you okay? Si. Holding her pretty close. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y oh, este okay, frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. Thanks. I'll remember that. Oh, that camel's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out. We're not. No way back. I can break through that door without Daniel's help. This place is fucking gross. Seven. ¿Cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera oh, vez. That's... You know, that's the way to look at it. Either way, you're sneaking into a place. If you're American and you're sneaking into Mexico, you're still going to be seen as illegals. Just like it's vice versa, you know? Can we intentamos cruzar la frontera? Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <laughs> y la más inteligente también. 
en nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país, que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Los Estados Unidos no es el paraíso que esperan. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream, pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro, que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió, cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho, hijo. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem. Oh. But she does know <laughs> But she does know English. Hey man. Sometimes when people speak different languages, that's just their version of privacy. But that <laughs> but I wonder I wonder how she's gonna react to her actually knowing English. Is you people breaking into my country? We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. What? That's not... You're generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our what? prisons are full. We only want work and, uh, and... Your prisons are full because you falsely accuse others of actions that they have no intentions of committing or attempting. Beast! Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. What facts? Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. What facts? She has not stated a single fact. All of this is just her opinion and how she feels personally. She hasn't courted anybody. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our what? borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me That's and my so family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, idiot. Loser. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yo, you guys, you guys got arrested too. I don't know how you're talking shit. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent. So, so fucking you... use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. 
Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What? Oh, shit. Is it morning already? I hope he's all right. You know, I got a solution. Don't you know how dangerous this stuff is? Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. It was no Why did you have to do How am I going to get myself out of this mess? So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Shit. Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. First of all, the first situation, the cop was the aggressor. At the gas station, the dude was a creep, and he assaulted me first. So anything I did after that was self-defense. The weird explosion thing, I can't tell you nothing about that. Because I, I, I ate. I was just standing around, something went off, next thing I know I'll wake up in the hospital. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada, hmm. oh, which ends up burnt to the ground, and we're not even halfway. Okay, that one, you can't blame on me. Okay, all it says is I was there. You have no proof that I burned it down, okay? So, so don't, don't put that on me. Down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. 
It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? That's what I'm saying. That's what I've been saying every single episode. I've been saying the same thing every single episode for the last five episodes. I would have, after the explosion, I would have just sat there. I ain't gonna hold you. I would have just sat there, laid on the ground, went to sleep. That's it. I wouldn't have done nothing. I would have just laid there and wait for the rest of the police to show up. I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminal. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get... Okay, that means Daniel's awake. But hey, at least... The thing is, he said at least I'll get a life afterwards. So that means I'll get... I'll get like... Sean will get like... Six to eight years... With good behavior. He starts to get go through some sort of rehab for his eyes. Is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. Well, I mean, to find out. anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously, how? I got bright burn on my side. Those. Uh, we're just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. Can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Enemy. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Uh, Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I, I wanted to rescue you, but I, I have to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, Carla and Diego, they came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? 
good. Oh, go to hell. Yeah, let's get these Hold on. Out of We're gonna get you out. They did nothing wrong. Well, Daniel. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Okay. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Wait. What the uh, fuck are you? Good thinking, Daniel. No, no. He's okay. He'll just wake up with a nasty headache. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Oh, right up. Shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Uh, Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop this. The chair! What's going on? They're dangerous! Be careful! We will Demont, shoot dude. if we need to! Understand? What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Do, do not move! Don't do anything stupid, kid! Throw that locker. I... I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now... Let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Ah, and that's how I get the thingy. Sean, we gotta go. What are you doing? We need to get out. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. Nobody is chasing us. Not yet. We're all peers. Oh, it is 33 degrees. It is 33 degrees right now. I am, I am incredibly cold right now. Emergency! This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the L. Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Honestly? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 
4th of July. Our first one without dad. Yeah. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. What are we going to do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this work! Get out of the car! Hello! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that, Dave? If they open fire on us, we are done. Daniel is good with his powers, but he's not gonna stop bullets. In Seattle? The date Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you and Adam, just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together, but you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, Promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. I don't know how Daniel's going to react to me surrendering. Whatever happens. Always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. I hope Daniel doesn't go crazy. You can trust me. Please, get out of the car. Come on. Just give There's the no option. way out. Just keep not giving me the option. This is the last so, warning. How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could. Nah, don't do it. I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose. What life we want to live. 
you're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be alright. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean... Only the good shit. I will. I swear. If I would have chose to ask Santa to use his powers, then I would have died. I get it. He could he could drive. He could use his powers to like make a shield or whatever, maybe. But I would still get shot. There's too many people there shooting at us. Like Daniel can protect himself, but not me as I'm driving. So I would not have made it. On your knees! I said on your knees now! I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. He's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oye, oye, oye. He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. So what's going to happen now? Time skip? Time skip? Time skip. 2017, right after the incident at the wall. Okay, so it starts in 2017. Twenty-five, bro. Eight years. Eight years have passed. It's it's twenty twenty-three in real life, and it's twenty twenty-five in the game. Come on.
Lady 33? Yo, he got 15 years, 15 years in prison, bro. 15 years later, after the events of the story. Hold on, Lila, hold on, oh, bro. <laughs> Lila, <laughs> what, what's good, Lila? You, you're looking good, Lila. <laughs> what's going on, Lila? <laughs> Slide my way is shit. <laughs> You're in your thirties, your twenties now. Hold on, <laughs> what you trying to get into, Lila? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> why does why does adult Daniel look like a Mexican Paul Walker? years so Daniel is 25 Daniel's 25 hey look at the boy hello <laughs> why he look like PG on Halloween They're not going to have any dialogue. Uh, in all honesty, I know I'm pausing a lot. It's, it is what it is. But I'm glad Lila is here. I feel like if all those moments where I contacted Lila, if I didn't do those, then uh, I, don't, I don't feel like she would be here. I don't think she would, I don't feel like she would be in this image right here. So I'm glad I contacted her all those times. I still got the eye patch. D Damn, Lila got cake. Hey, yo. <laughs> Lila got cake. Y'all, I know y'all saw that. <laughs> I know y'all saw that. <laughs> Lila got cake now. Hold on. Hold on, you can see him up here. <laughs> Let me chill. <laughs> Let me chill. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Lila got, she done grown up for real. Still playing music. I can't play this. I'm hoping me muting the <laughs> this music helps. Cause e even when I let this theme play, it still copyrights. Look at the fit. Look at the fit. Oh, he got the glass eye now. <laughs> Oh, they're going back to the lake where, where they made camp all those years ago. Yep.
please tell them all about his life and everything that you've missed. He's breaking down crying because he's missed so much. It's going to be so hard for him to get back into society. crazy. Hey, at least they, they both got their own individual cars. Okay, I see. I see Sean got the American muscle. Where's he even going? He's probably going to Lila's house. I know. Hey, he's doing the howl. You wanna? Can I? Yeah, they wanted to let us hear the howl. Hey, he still got his powers. The thing that sucks is that even though he has these powers, he probably still can't win in a fight. Oh, he's driving the opposite way. So five wolves. I'm, fin I'm finally done with this game. It's about time. I'm finally done with this game. Two hours and forty six minutes episode. Each episode was like two and a half, three hours. We decided to surrender. Oh, we decided to, to surrender to the police and Daniel accepted. So we decided to force the roadblock and Daniel accepted. We decided to force the roadblock and Daniel to flee. We decided to surrender the police to the police and Daniel refused. Ooh, that's that's the one I was that's the one I thought I was gonna get. Overall, we taught Daniel to do his best to follow the rules of society. Okay. But the opposite option was, overall, we taught Daniel to put himself and his brothers first. Mm. I feel like, I feel like I got the best ending. Later on, I'll probably, like, look up all the different endings and whatnot. But, that's, that's mine. That's my ending. You did the treasure, oh. Oh, okay. You did the treasure hunt and found the hidden treasure. Most people didn't. 7% with this greed, huh? You 
Kids with kids, three percent kids with Deirdre Hunter didn't finish the quest, and the overall got closer to Karen. Okay, I think that was pretty easy to do. You wrote a caring note to Karen. You said farewell to Arthur and Stanley. You said farewell to Joan. You hugged Karen. Most people hugged her because they thought it was going to be the last time. You intervened to calm Christy Diego down. You freed the Mexican couple. You didn't ask Daniel to free the vigilantes because they deserve to be locked up with Spike the way they do. Uh, I didn't hurt the vigilantes because if you hurt them and they're in the cell, it's like it's like you're no better than them if you hurt them. You didn't ask Daniel to kill the officers to escape the uh, police station. Oh yeah, that was that was the main option coming up, and I was spamming circle. Yeah, I was spamming circle to be like, nah, I don't want to hurt them. I'm, I don't want to kill them, but I want to, you know, knock them out and get out of here. Daniel wasn't told off about the scorpion. I thought I did. I could have sworn I told him off about the scorpion. Well, I told him not to play around. Daniel managed to set up Joan's sculpture with your help. Daniel was concerned about hurting Officer Cantrell. Yeah, okay. Daniel wasn't asked to free the vigilantes. Yeah. Daniel didn't have to lash out at the vigilantes. Daniel knocked out the officers. Okay. Thank you for playing and following Sean and Daniel on their journey. Okay, that's that. Um, okay. Oh, we're from one. for watching this playthrough thanks for going through this playthrough with me i really do appreciate it please like comment subscribe especially if you made it this far into the into the uh, playthrough please like comment subscribe tell me your thoughts and opinions on my decisions and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> this is a long ass because i did i did episode four then i took a break and then i did episode five took like a 20 minute break from in between these things but nevertheless i got it done this will be up in a like a day or two but i'll see you guys in the next one who knows if i'll play another game uh, i don't know but i'll see you guys in the next one peace